Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sean. Hey, wanna do a video this time on nitric oxide and a interesting biomarker you can do absolutely free. You gotta go to the doctor, gotta pay for this, gotta pay for that, you gotta buy this, buy that, absolutely free, okay? If we're going to reverse chronic disease as a health and performance optimizing physician, I can't go around telling you about expensive tests. I gotta tell you about things you can do cheap and easy at home. This one, skin turner. Okay, we learned about it in medical school. I trained, you know, in emergency medicine. We checked for signs of dehydration. Oh, how interesting. This old person is dehydrated. Boring. Okay, we're going to prevent you from getting dehydrated by teaching you how to live optimally. Okay, why not use skin turner to see uh, how well you, you are, see if you're awesome, and learn a few things. Okay, so cholesterol that changes over a long period of time. Okay. How about something that gives you real feedback, like a coach, okay? When you do something bad, they're on you, they're chirping you. When you do something good, they're rewarding you and they're encouraging you, okay? Those are the kind of things you need to learn about. Skin turger, used properly, does that, okay? So skin turger, real quick, just put your hand down and you pull your skin up and see how I raise it up, how fast it snaps back is a sign of how healthy you are. Old people, their skin snaps back really slow, like 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 this. It kind of lays down. I can't I can't do it because my skin turner is actually quite good for a 59 year old guy. You know, it's got really good skin turner. Little kids, because mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't have chronic disease. Okay, little kids model health for us. They're nothing more than adults without chronic disease. Okay, as we age, we accumulate chronic disease not because we're getting older but because of the dumb, stupid things we do, like eating processed foods, sitting down too much, had to do this for the video to demonstrate skin turner, and not exercising properly, not doing all the things, okay? So skin turner, very interesting, is something you can look at for immediate feedback. Check this out. Evaluate your skin turner inside, okay? Then go outside in high intensity sunlight and watch it significantly improve. Why? Nitric oxide. That's right. Nitric oxide gets produced when you go out in the sunshine. Oh, but the dermatologists tell me not to go out in the sunshine. Look at those dermatologists. Watch how they age over their lifetime. Oh, the young ones look good. They're not so really valuable to watch. But pay attention to the old ones who are out there using sunscreen, scared to death of the sun. <laughs> They're not optimizing their nitric oxide. I'd love to see what you know, dermatologist. Send this video. Yeah. Have them evaluate the influence of nitric oxide on their skin when they're out there putting sunscreen on and their skin turgor is not improving. Mine improves right away when I go out in the sunshine. What is it, Tommy? Muy bueno. <laughs> I should be getting more sunshine without sunscreen on because it improves this nitric oxide. So how is that happening? What is it? Well, the reason skin turgor is improving dramatically through the production of nitric oxide is we were taught in medical school that it's collagen. Yeah, old people don't have much collagen, young people do. But if that's the case, then how come dramatically it improves when I got in the sunshine? Did I just produce a bunch of collagen? No, I produce nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is what optimizes your cardiovascular system, yeah. Does improved blood flow sound like a good thing to your brain, to your skin, to your heart, to your kidneys, to your liver? Oh yeah. Then shouldn't we be told by doctors uh, when we go to school and when we go to the doctor and everywhere in life there should be commercials saying, do you realize when you go out in the sun you can increase nitric oxide production? And you can see this demonstrated by skin turner. Those are the kind of things we should be doing. That's why I'm trying to do in my 501c3, my charity, okay? So this video is to instruct you on this great biomarker, skin turf, absolutely free. So just told you first one, that improves it is going out in the sunshine. Can't wear sunscreen, we go out there. And the take home lesson is you want more sunshine and it improves blood flow when you go out there. Nitric oxide, it optimizes your blood flow. Blood flow, muy bueno, okay? For those who don't know, that's good, okay? You want more blood flow. It's what gets compromised over a period of time. The next thing that optimizes your nitric oxide production, improving your skin turgor, maximum intensity exercise. 
okay? Not so much jogging, okay? You go out and jog, you're not gonna produce as much nitric oxide. But if you go out and sprint, you really get one on in a short period of time. Maximum intensity exercise, okay? That means the most you can possibly, the maximum effort, the highest effort you can put in. You're not sprinting unless you're running as fast as you possibly can. That's a sprint. Anything less than that is not a sprint. It's fast running, but it's not a sprint. And you want maximum intensity to get the most nitric oxide production and all the other awesome things get produced when you sprint, like myokines, LACFI, and human growth hormone, and other metabolites and involved with exercise, okay? So it's good stuff, maximum intensity exercise. Sprinting is my favorite, but you can also do it with weightlifting, all right? Less from the aerobics and just kind of, you know, playing around. All right, so you want to get that maximum amount of nitric oxide production with maximum effort exercise. Okay, so the two things, sunshine, we cover maximum intensity exercise. The third one is the sauna. Okay, the sauna, it's a resilient building practice. It produces heat shock proteins, chaperone proteins. These are awesome things. I won't go into that. I'm just sticking to nitric oxide right now. And nitric oxide is optimized. It's upregulated, it's produced when you go into the sauna. Where's your test? Hand down, skin turgor, snap it back before you go in the sauna, okay? You'll see your skin turgor sl slowly goes down, it's not as fast. But when you go into that sauna, if you're an older person, and after you've been into that sauna for, you know, a, a good lengthy workout, whatever your normal leg workout, check your skin turgor out again. Dang! Oh my God. God, my skin turgor significantly improves when I go into the sauna. And guess what? <laughs> it's improved for a long time after because that nitric oxide, glorious nitric oxide. You mean to tell me that I get all this beautiful nitric oxide and improves my blood flow that much when I go into sauna? Yes, I mean to tell you that because your doctor's not telling you that, okay? I didn't learn that in medical school. I had to pull it out of studies. I had to find it out myself. I tried to basically on my own <laughs> going into the sauna looking. I was like, oh my God, my, why is my skin turgor so much dramatically better? Yeah, figured out it was the sauna. Every day going time. This is why you should be doing a sauna, okay? But I can tell you about all this that I have and you're not doing it yet, okay? So I gotta give you some more markers, okay? This skin turgor will show you how you change before and after the sauna, not just a bunch of sweat. Some of you need to have a little more guidance to connect the dots, okay? So skin turgor is your big guidance to show you how much you improve in a very short period of time, one session from going into a sauna, all right? So that makes three, again. Maximum intensity exercise, sunshine, and the sauna. The fourth one, another resilient building exercise, fasting. Okay, fasting will improve your skin turgor. So when you fast, particularly extend, extended fasting, you improve your skin turgor because you're releasing more nitric oxide. Things that release more nitric oxide improve your blood flow. Improved blood flow is manifest in improved skin turgor your skin snaps back faster because it's performing better. It's better perfused and poor perfused blood, like in a dehydrated state, older people don't have as much blood flow through their capillaries and their skin bed, sags down, slowly goes down. Okay, so skin turgor is a great marker, a great test to see these things, how you optimize. There may be some other ones, we'll find out, okay? but. Uh, let me tell you about one that inhibits nitric oxide. Guess what inhibits nitric oxide? Carbohydrates. Oh, wait a minute. I think I thought we we're supposed to have carbohydrates. I'm a, I'm a diabetic. They told me it inhibits your nitric oxide. It is not essential. You do not need it. I've always improved since the age of 48 to the extent linearly that I cut out my carbohydrates. So, especially processed carbohydrates. But wait a minute, I saw so-and-so and told me that I should be taking honey because it increases nitric oxide in this particular study. Okay, so there are studies out there. 
they t I apparently show that. Uh, I'm not impressed. You know what impresses me? When it happens in front of my eyes and proving my skin to her, just like that, okay? Go ahead and try testing it with honey and see see if you think. I actually did, and it did, guess what it did? Took away my visible pulses, okay? My pulses are visible all over my body. When I ate honey, they disappeared. What that told me? <sighs> Muy mal. No bueno, okay? That's not good. I want to see my pulses because I know my blood flow is optimizing to do that, okay? So I am not a fan of honey. I'm sorry. I know you love the taste, but it is not going to optimize you, okay? I continue to say, this is my saying, Sean O'Meara says this, the enemy tastes sweet, okay? It is one of the most deceiving, pleasure-seeking, uh, tissue-corrupting senses that we have used the wrong way. How should it be used? It should be used to detect spoilage, toxins, dangers, things like that. Not to trap us in to eating sweet things, ice cream, cookies, cakes, and honey, like everybody, like most people are doing, okay? So, interesting that what produces nitric, nitric oxide are things that are resilient building, things that people don't like to do. You know, people avoid the sunshine. They don't want to go outside. They think it's bad. Um, and you think about the people who avoid the sun the most. They're weak. They're white. They're fatigued. They're usually living in nursing homes, and they can't handle the sun. And those who can't do maximum intensity exercise, you know, they're, they're just, that's a resilient exercise. It's, it's not weak people out there sprinting, okay? It's, it's the tough men and women, okay? You always sprint, always maintain that in your practice. So resilient building exercise, that which does not makes, does not kill us, makes us stronger, okay? Those are things that are improved. It's pretty easy. Eat healthy food. Uh, do things that are resilient building. You know, short blasts of intense things that damage us a little bit that we recover. We're doing it very briefly. Not for a long period of time like jogging and running and chronic exercise. So these resilient building practices improve us, eating healthy improves us, and um, of course, a resilient building practice, one of my favorites is fasting, especially extended fasting. Okay, so that's my lesson on a skin trigger. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna start using it. Maybe you'll discover something else that instantly improves your skin trigger. And if you do, <laughs> let me know. The Health and Performance Optimizing Physician, I wanna know about that, okay? All right, so, uh, if you like this video, give it a like, please. Give me some comments. Give me some questions. Uh, share it with other people you know so that they can have the benefit of finding out about skin turgor, nitric oxide. And, uh, and then, um, as always, if you are uh, interested in supporting the, the work that I'm doing, I have a 501c3. Contact me to make a charitable donation. I'd like to do, do some nice professional great videos. This is just Sean O'Meara sitting on my couch in my office, one man band, I got a little rickety, you should see the rickety tripod I use, okay? I bought it for $24. <laughs> I could use some higher grade stuff to produce. I, you know, if I'm gonna take videos, I mean, think about it. Do you wanna help school kids? Do you wanna end chronic disease? Do you wanna help, you know, veterans? Do you wanna help the military? Do you wanna help first responders? Do you wanna help the marginalized? In society, you want to work donating your money towards the biggest problem, the largest problem of humanity, chronic disease, then consider donating some a small amount of money uh, to, to my charity. So one, I'd just like to be encouraged that one person, are you getting tired of this? Not one person has contacted me. If you've seen this, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So if you can, contact me. And, and maybe consider making a donation. It doesn't have to be a lot. If you value your health, don't you value it in our country? Want to help out these other people? Unless you think I'm a scam artist. All right, enough said. I hope I'm appealing to you to think about the future and think about the present. We can do a lot by reversing chronic disease. Your life will dramatically turn around in a very short period of time by living better, living healthy. All right, this is Dr. Sean now. See you in another optimizing video.